Hey kids, welcome to our channel! Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Hello and welcome to another episode of Wildlife Crystal. I'm your host, Wildlife Crystal, a wildlife specialist. As you know, on this show, Wildlife Crystal, we are going to be learning fun facts about one animal and their environment every episode. I'm here with my very special co-host, the one and only, Kaya the Koala. Hello everyone, good to see you again. I have a little animal story. Oh yeah, Kaya, do tell. I was taking a walk in my neighborhood today and saw the most beautiful big bird in the park doing a dance. I love that. Not much of a story, but uh, what kind of bird was it? Try and guess. I'll give you two hints. You already know, it's a big, beautiful bird. The females of this bird are called peahens. And my favorite part, the babies are called pea chicks. Everyone at home, try to guess too. I'll give you five seconds. Is it the peacock? Yes, it's the peacock. You are so right, Kaya. Great hints. The males are called peacocks, females are called peahens, and the babies are called peachicks. Love these names, and these are such beautiful and fun birds. Let's dive right in. Great, I have so many questions about these guys. Like, what are their huge spectacular tail feathers called? Peacock tail feathers are called a train. The train of a peacock is so huge, it covers 60% of their entire body. The train consists of more than 200 beautiful feathers, and its length can extend about six feet. That's taller than me. These feathers have blue-green eye spots, a unique feature of this fantastic bird. Another fun fact about peacock tail feathers is that there are actually crystal-like structures in these feathers, which give the train a bright color. If you look at the train from different angles, its color will differ each time. Whoa, that's amazing. Are baby peacocks or peachicks born with these magnificent feathers? Nope, peacocks are not born with their unique blue-green feathers. At age one, a peacock has no blue-green feathers. Some feathers can be seen growing out of their back at age two, and finally at age three, a peacock fully grows their fancy feathers. Since pea chicks do not have their blue color, it's hard to tell if a baby is a male or a female. Only the male peacock has the train. Both peacocks and peahens have a crest of long feathers on the tops of their heads that look like a crown. The crest has no purpose for peacocks. For them, it's just decoration. But for the females, or peahens, the crest is an important feature. Peahens' crests have a sensor, and it helps for mating. When a peacock rattles their tail feathers or train, the crest of a peahen vibrates with the same frequency as the train's vibrations. After the peacock spreads their feathers, they shake them 26 times in one second to attract the peahens. Wow, this is so interesting. Great fun facts. So is the peacock's beautiful train how they attract the peahens? Exactly. Male peacocks display their flashy trains and beautiful blue-green feathers to attract the peahens. They perform a peculiar dance to fascinate the females. You can find them prancing and dancing around the peahens to attract them. Once the mating is done, the female bird gathers various materials to create a nest. Some nest on the ground, while some others roost in trees away from predators. Peahens lay around three to six eggs and incubate or warm them for about a month. Peahens stay close to their pea chicks and are excellent mothers. Oh, I love that. And can peacocks fly with all of those feathers? 
Since peacocks have a large body and all of those long feathers, they cannot fly very far or very high. Peacocks often jump high and flap their wings with great force to fly a very short distance. Peacocks spend only about 2% of the time flying and spend most of their time searching for food on the ground. Because they are mainly ground-based birds, they have learned to survive on land. Did you know that peacocks can run at a speed of 10 miles per hour? Peacocks can cover long distances just on foot. Their high running speed helps protect them from predators. Whoa, cool. Please tell me these spectacular birds are not under threat. Unfortunately, more and more animals become endangered every year. There are three species of peacocks and they have different fates. The Indian peacock, the most common species, is a protected animal in India. And so their population is thriving. However, the green peacock and the Congo peacock are endangered. They are at real risk of extinction if nothing changes. The biggest threat to these beautiful animals is habitat loss. As humans destroy more and more of peacock's home, they are left with more predators that are all fighting over space and food. Like all animals, peacocks and peahens are extremely crucial to our ecosystem as they naturally keep check on insect populations. Something you can all do at home or at your school is spread the word about what you've learned today about these spectacular birds. The more people know about an animal, the more likely they will be to want to save them. Another thing we can all do right now is support conservation efforts for any and all animals of this planet. Remember, it's up to us, the future generation, to make sure they have a place to live. Let's all work together to make sure animals and humans live in harmony. Let's always be kind and respectful to every creature on this planet. Aw, I love that. What do they eat? Peacocks, peahens, and peachicks are omnivores, which means they eat both plants and animals. In the wild, peachicks are weaned on soft food by their mothers until they're able to consume larger, more solid foods. Peacocks and peahens have very strong and sharp beaks that develop very quickly. Peachicks will be able to forage for plants, insects, and small animals within two weeks to a month of being born. All peacocks, peahens, and peachicks require a high protein diet to help with their beautiful feathers to grow. I heard peacocks can fight snakes. Is that true? Yep. Peacocks fight with snakes if they come near them and even eat them. They are amazing snake catchers, actually, and even feed on poisonous snakes like the cobra. This actually makes peacocks a great predator for villages and other domestic areas. That being said, peacocks are friendly and social animals. Peacocks usually travel in groups about eight to 10, and a group of peacocks is called a muster. A fun fact about peachicks is that they love to run around, chase each other, and play games in their muster. Where are peacocks from? In the wild, peacocks are primarily found in the countries of India, Pakistan, Burma, and Sri Lanka, with rare species found in Africa in the Congo. They prefer to live in forests and areas that are open with trees around. Peacocks have been introduced to many countries around the world, which is why you may have seen some running around, like Kaya did. Okay, tell us one more fun fact about peacocks. Well, peacocks make bizarre screeching noises. They make loud noises when they're in danger or in mating season. They can produce 11 different sounds and can even make a sound so low pitched that humans can't even hear it. Whoa, that's amazing. And now it's question time. Ba -ba. Kaya, are you as excited as I am to put the knowledge we just learned today to the test? I sure am. True or false? The peacock's train consists of 200 beautiful feathers that are almost six feet long. The correct answer is true. The peahens crest feathers on their heads serve what purpose? Is it A, they help them find food? B, they have sensors that help them find their mate. C, they show how old they are. Or D, 
They have no purpose, only there for decoration. The correct answer is B. When the peacocks shake their tail feathers to attract the peahen, the crests of the peahen vibrates with the same frequency as the train's vibrations. What is a baby peacock called? Is it A, an eaglet, B, a kit, C, a pea chick, or D, a calf? The correct answer is C, a pea chick. You guys did fantastic. Kai and I have to go, but we will be learning fun facts about another animal next week. See you next time on Wildlife Crystal. Thanks. Bye, guys.